Okay, let's make sure everything's good. I think everything's good. Continue. It says everything's good. Oh god, where were we? Oh yeah, you were gonna do um, Affiliate Chapter 3, right? If I'm not wrong. I think that's where we were at? Yeah, that's the music of Goldstar. I think we're at Affiliate Chapter 3. Okay. Um. Oh, wait, we were going to, we didn't have Ophi in our party. That's 38. Cyrus is 40. 36 for Therian. 32 for Alfin. Huh. Okay, um. Okay, you know what? Maybe it's time to go back to Ulbrich. Maybe it's time. Okay, where's the pub? Um, hello. Um, Cyrus needs to be in here. So does Tressa. Um, this needs to swap with you. And you need to swap with you. Oh gosh, okay. Um. Okay. A prim's cleric, okay. Merchant, okay. Scholar, okay. Um. Hmm. We could have you as the dancer. We could have you as the warrior. And we could have you as merchant. Let's do that. That's cute. Okay. Equipment. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's, let's just make you fast. And, um. That's all I have for now. And then you can have. Um. Sure, we can do this. This is fine. Um. Wait, how much stuff do I have? Okay, bye. I have 10 healing grapes. Sure. Sure, this is gonna be okay. It's not gonna be okay. It will never be okay. Um, do you have anything that will poison the boss? Hmm. Who am I even on for this boss? Oh gosh. Um, wait, skills. Yeah, not great. Um, not great, but I'm kind of like doing prim anyway, so might as well. Um. So I have no poison spells debuffs. Do I want? I never got through the last one by solely poisoning. <laughs> um. Well, we can try. We can certainly try. Okay, what boss are we on here? I know we finished Joshua. Come on, come on, we can do it. I know we finished Joshua. Who are we on? Hello. Nope, I don't wanna do that, but I think you have something nice for me. I think you have something nice for me. Okay, good. Um, I'll take this stone. Okay, I am feisting you. Hmm. Okay, we know we're supposed to be points though. So let's let's see. We can we can try this. If it goes badly, um, then I can do a little bit of grinding. Then maybe we'll do some more Galdera. I will not fail. Oh, my hair really is a mess. Okay. Today is just a 
I have not been feeling well today, so today is just like a sick look. <laughs> um. Okay, um. Sure, we can do this. We can do this, it's fine. Um. I should have kept the. I should have done insight sidestep on Ulbrich. Hmm. Okay. If it thunder and lies. Okay. This I can tell is gonna go badly. Um. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, not sort either, which is a great start. <laughs> um. This shouldn't be an AoE though. It was the AoE. Okay. Um. I think they're weak to win. I think this is Muscle's weak to win, actually. Let's see. Did I make that up? I made that up. Um. The battle is truly joined. Hmm. Okay, um, not great. Not good whatsoever. I probably should have healed. Okay, um, lightning. Nope, okay, so Archibald is weak to fuck. Hmm. I shall pierce you through. Okay. <laughs> Bring about a miracle of healing. Okay, yeah, we're not ready for this fight. Okay, that's fine. Not ready for the fight. Don't mind me. Hmm. So I guess we can do some leveling. By leveling, I mean complete some side quests and then do some encounters along the way. Yeah, that'd be fun. Do I remember how to do the side quest? No. Am I currently learning the speedrun for all side quests? Yes. Is this going to be um, an interesting stream of me not remembering what's in my notes? Of course. Um, let's start, we can go around. Let's start with Ophi's place first, and then we'll just, yeah, we can go, and go Ophi's, we'll just run around. Oh, I can do Ophi, Cyrus, I can run around that way, because I know that way better, okay. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, Ophi is up here. Where is Flames Grace? Flame Grace is right here. Okay. So yeah, we'll go Flames Grace. We'll run to Atlas Dam. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, it didn't save me getting the other people. Okay, let's get um, let's get one of each person just so we have them. So um, hello. Change party. I am going to need. One Cyrus. Um, and Trustus is technically lower leveled. And then Ulbrich, like that. Okay, we'll do this, and then we'll switch them, and then we'll switch them. Okay. Oh yes, there is a there's a giant sleeping. Um, I think that giant might be slightly too high level for us right now, but that's fine. Um, there's somebody else. Okay, yes, you too. Oh yes, you're the one whose father fled from the battle. 
and we have to go and prove that you didn't. This is one merchant that's back here just chilling, which I kind of like. He's like, leave me alone. <laughs> we can knock you out. Um. Let me pull out my notes, and then that way we can get through a bunch of these without me free freaking out. Um. Okay. Um, come on. I just want... This one, okay. Okay, yeah, let's do Okay, can I can I move you over so I can still see everything? That would be nice. Okay, I can still kind of see everything. Um Let's go deal with uh, Sir Miles, whose father supposedly ran off the battlefield, because that one's pretty easy. Um, hello. I think I need to talk to you. May I? No, you are not what I want. Um, hello. Is it you? Ah, oh, yes. Here you go. So that is for... A good friend, Miles. Um, we immediately did one boss, realized we weren't ready. I'm gonna have to do some grinding, so we're just we're just doing some side quests right now. <laughs> How are you? How goes your progress in being the best uh the best teenage mutant ninja turtles ninja? <laughs> I don't know. How much progress- we're not speedrunning today, how much progress do you think I made? <laughs> there you go, we can do this. I can't- it's funny. I did end up finishing that Galdera run after I took a break and I slept the time running. We finished exactly at 12 hours. Because I, I stepped away for like three and a half hours. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think you've been to the best stream. We, um, I think, like, the last week, we were only doing Galdera prep run through, so we were only doing, like, the, the final, like, gauntlet, and you could saw how much that helped. Um, and then the week before, I think we, I think we literally, I think you were there, we were just doing Vanessa. <laughs> there games on that time. I needed to practice for Galdera, and then Galdera went badly. <laughs> but yeah, I was I was thinking I'm like hmm, I wonder I even I couldn't remember where we were at, and I was like I should probably do some grinding on this on this save just so like everybody's like ready to go so we can go on to the next boss fight. And I'm like yeah, that'd be a good idea. Didn't do it. Um, yeah, I know. I don't know, I could, I could stream other games too if you wanted that, but. Um. Oh wait, I went the wrong way. But yeah, I just had to, I had to pay my, um, my rent deposit, and I'm kind of like, <laughs> it was a lot of money. Rent, rent is expensive, <laughs> especially for a place I'm not yet living at. Okay, that was a lot of money, and it was a nut, which is good. Um, let's go deal with the person who got locked up in jail. Oops, come on. Um, where's the person who's in jail? Um. 
Tinker up here? Okay, wait. Yes. There's just a random person in jail here. Like, hello. <laughs> First month, last month, plus. Yeah, it really can. It was like, um, hey, you've been working full time for like two weeks. Here's your paycheck. Oh, sorry. Uh, here's your first and last month's rent deposit. <laughs> so that was like, okay. Uh, yes, let's go prove that this person's innocent. And you can either like bust him out of jail or you can actually prove he's innocent, which is kind of funny. Um, I, who do I talk to? I think I talked to you. you. Yes, okay. And then I get you out of this jail cell. Yeah, you gotta go feed the cats. Nice. And they're just gonna execute this poor man. Like, he's like, oh, I didn't murder anybody. We're gonna... Um, yeah, that's fine. Here you go. Now you can be free, my man. Okay, we, we could do the Jotun fight. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, let's do the Jotun fight. We can do that. <laughs> like, this side quest is just so strange. Um, okay, let's go back. We'll change up our party to make sure we have only the weakest people. Who do I have following me? I have no idea. Okay. Oops, gone. Um. Okay, change party. No, okay, I do have a party in here. Okay. Um. Okay, wait, dancer, should it be apothecary? Should be merchant. Warrior. Dancer. Okay, we can do this. Excuse me. We need empoison. Vivify. Amputation. Rehabilitate. Okay. Um. We need rust on you, definitely. Okay. Um, and then insight would be good on you. Um. I think that's fine. Okay. Oh, equipment. That would be good. Um. That's fine. Optimize. Optimize. We'll put, uh, sprightly. And that, and then we can do this, and then we can have you not get to sleep. Okay. To face the Yotun. Okay. Um. I think the Yotun's this way. It's a good day for back. No, it's up. Okay.
No, it is this way, because it's on the way to... Haunted, okay. Ready or not, here I come! I am ready. Oh, I don't have Clary anymore. Hmm. That's fine. Um, I'll put on face of maneuvers. Just because we're in these low level areas for now. Yeah, it's down here, okay. Um, no, it is all the way to the bottom, okay. Wanted to rest, but that's fine. They can also have work. Um, okay, let's go in. Okay, um, healing. Then we can give out some. Plums. Okay, let's go. The Jotun. Should be up here. I don't have Cyrus with me. I mean, I don't have um, Theron with me. Save. Uh, skills. Oh, great. Okay, an encounter. Let us fight with honor. Um, is this the logical course of action? Oh. Okay, and then we can do I'm ready. that. And a level slash. I will cut you down. My turn now. And another level slash. Can do night ode. Night ode. Bring your shade. Okay. And then Cyrus can rest. Good. We've decided to face a secret boss. I'm so sorry, I got you confused with each other. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's why I was so confused when you came in. I'm really sorry. Um. Yes, I'm so sorry, you're right. I, I am, that makes more sense. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I am, <laughs> in my brain, I was like, this makes sense. <laughs> So, um, no, we have not made progress to chapter four. Yes, that was quite a couple weeks ago. We have almost finished everybody's chapter twos, though, now that I understand what's happening. Oh god, I feel like an asshole. <laughs> oh 
Solve one damage. <laughs> I am. Um, I do. I do need to apologize for that, though. I'm really sorry. <laughs> so what happened was, I saw. I saw Lowdown's name, and I was like, "Oh, I know that name. Like that's like that's somebody that like you know I've talked to before." Really? Um. And so in my brain, I'm like, "Oh yeah, the person I always talk to is you, Nimrod." And so my brain was like, yeah, that's Nimrod, even though I was reading it as Lowdown. So my brain was like, oh yeah, like, hi, how are you today? Like, how's Ninja Turtles going? <laughs> so, um... This is one of those moments where you, like, you know, you have to, like, sit down and actually read what you're doing. <laughs> um... Oh, I did a bad thing by doing another blood ring grace. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, out of context, that's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> You were there, like, last stream when we did Ophelia, like, Alfin Chapter 2. Like, you were there, and I was like, wait, no, you aren't. <laughs> um. My turn now, huh? I'm... <laughs> I'm ready. I am kind of glad you hopped into the chat though, Nimrod, because otherwise I don't think I would have caught that that was, um, that was happening. Okay, can- please, please, can you be nice? Okay, wh what is the- Let's just- let's just do this for a second. Yeah, because he got healed up by the mushroom. Okay, we're going back. We're hiding my shame. Oh, that's so funky. Uh, do I go up? Where, where, do, where do I usually sit? I sit... there? Roughly where I'm usually at. Let's say that. Um. How many stages are there? 13 out of 16? Okay. So did you finish all of the um, them on easy without getting damaged? Or did you give up on that? Uh, I could just buy my way out of this if I wanted to. Um... No. Oh, wait. I feel like I may have gave him so much damage beforehand, and then I just... Come on, you're in red. Okay. I just didn't know if they were easier to get on, like, easy or something, because the AI wouldn't be as aggressive. Um. Okay. I think... Fingers crossed. This should kill. Because we're, we're really right at, right at the boss. This would be really nice to get through. There you go. Okay. Um. Okay. Who held it up there? Um. Okay. And I came in here without plums, so that was a great idea. Oh yeah, let's do it. Um. The boss is supposed to be here. Did I, did I miss something? Uh, 
Um. That's where the boss fight's supposed to happen. There's supposed to be a boss there. Um. Okay. Let us fight with honor. Oh, I forgot to do something. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, wait, I forgot to do something. Bring your shade. We gotta, we gotta go back. Um, where is it? Here. I forgot to actually find out where the giant is, which means you don't trigger him if you don't know. Okay, hello. Please, okay. Now we can go back to the boss. Uh, but first we'll take a little nap. Uh, skills. I read the two of our German grocers tried to get into the Canadian market. How's that going? Um. Is Kroger's? I feel like that sounds like a German German store, but I don't know if that's just being very in a, in a very offensive. Oh, Aldi's German. Oh, interesting. I have never heard of L I D L before, but I've heard of Aldi. What is the logical course of action? I didn't realize like Aldi was German. Okay. Oh, okay. Ready or not, here I come. An interesting dilemma. When I think of all of these, I think of like Easter chocolate, like people go to go to all of these after holidays to get like candy. <laughs> That's what I think of. <laughs> Um, okay, is the boss gonna be there now, or did I mess up again? Let's save once more. Oh, okay, interesting. Yes, okay, this is the boss. <laughs> I was like, why isn't it triggering? Okay. I will not fail. I am ready. Um. Um. Fire. And swords. Okay. Yeah, the ones that I, I heard I would have seen that one would have been the, uh, the German one. This. The battle is true. Um. Oh, I forgot to poison it. Okay. We win solely through poisons in this house, is what I'm learning. No. If you don't have poison, you're busted. Um, we can do this. Yeah, I 
I haven't heard of Aldi's coming to Canada yet, but I don't know. I might have just not have heard it. I am ready. Great question. I also don't know. But it's poison. And poison in Pokemon makes me mad. So I figured poison in other things would make would make enemies mad. Which is flawless logic. I actually don't know what to ask. I think it- I think it's- No, I don't know. Victory um... I just- I don't think it scales with the enemy's health. So I think it goes off your own attack stats. Um, when I played WoW, Burning Crusade, more than having a real life, I knew there was a little- Yeah. Sometimes it's all you need to know. It's like, I don't like this against me, so I'm gonna use it. We've gone, we've gone the Dancer's Divine skill, uh, Sightless is Grace. Um, My turn next. and then I think we have Aber's Reckoning on Therian 2. How many plums do I? Oh no, I do have plum. Okay, good. Use this. There you go. Yeah, Brand's thunder. I just realized I don't have I don't have the I don't have Prim as, as a cleric. Oh no, I don't have Prim as a cleric. Oh, the one where you do um damage proportional to the money. Healing. Uh, do I have any? What grape do I have? That's gonna kill for him. That's fine. <laughs> On your feet now. Um, do I have 
Yeah, I have a healing great bunch, okay. Oh, that one too. Um I do have the money. If we really get into trouble, I can I can buy my way out of this. <laughs> no. Um, and then we can do Use this. this then okay just don't don't kill cyrus okay we're good we're a-okay i have a plan the plan's not good but it's a plan um okay Yeah, give it to Alder, oh, because he has cover. <laughs> and then we have the money for it, so we might as well, right? No, this is fine. Okay, there you go. And that's all my money, which is not great, but... Okay. Easy as that. Told you there was a plan and it involved the poison. <laughs> um. And I think that's all the side quests in Flames Grace. Yeah, GG. This is why you always go poison. <laughs> um, and you're in the tavern, so let's go talk to you. I was really hoping for like at least one level off off that, but it's fine. There you go. Yeah. It, again, like it's just this whole thing of um. Like the. It could be fine. Oh, we could go to, um, the Whisper Woods. Yeah, we could go to the Whisper Woods, actually. Let's do that. So sweet. And then we have Calamity S Calamity Spear. Which is worse than the Imperial Spear because it has really bad accuracy and also not as great physical attack. Um, yes, let's go to Atlas Dam. And then we can go to Whisper Woods. Um, little girl, have I scrutinized you? Yes, I have. Okay. I don't think I tagged the Whisper Woods before. Because if not, then we can get the 1500 chest there. We can beat it with an M stone, which we got from the boss, so we can get a couple levels off. We can get like one level off that probably. Which is pretty nice. Um. Yeah, we can do that. Um, there, we can get this chest. Ooh, some sword. Um, who wants that? There you go. 
Give it a trust and not all bricks, personally. Okay, this is easy. This fight is easy. I'm ready. We can just uh, drop this one. You like that? There you go. The show is over. Oh, and we still haven't leveled up. Oh, jeez. I really thought that was gonna do it. Um. Okay, let's go back to Alistair and we can do some more side quests. Um. Let's go beat up this money lender right here. Because we talked to this guy, but we didn't have Ulbrick before. Now we have Ulbrick. Did I heal Ulbrick up? How badly wounded is Ulbrick? Let us fight with honor. Oh, he's actually not that bad. No. Um. Can you shoot this? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, right now, the only chapter 2 we have left is all bricks, and then we have uh, all the chapter 3s and all the chapter 4s left. If I gave him the silver sword, it'd be over right now. Um, that's fine. There you go. Okay. With each battle, I grow stronger. There you go, Theresio. You are free to bug me again to get you some books so you can teach children how to read. Um. Oops, I skipped through that really fast. Okay. Okay, let's go to the Carrion Caves. That should be one of the best places to... to grind right now. Um... Portress left. I'm ready. Um. Naito, bring your shade. Okay. I don't think they should hate Thrall that much, though. That's fine. Uh... Oh, there you go. Just don't whack trust them. Yeah, didn't whack trust them. We're fine. Okay. Yeah, but I think if we can get Cyrus up to level 30. 
And then I would feel confident going back to that boss. I would like somebody else to be, um... To be a healer. A good day for did I put a base maneuvers back on? I think I did. I'm um, we should be able to just run. Yeah, I did. Okay, um... Okay, near the caves, right? I think this is the right place. Oh, I need to take off my base maneuver, so I'm gonna do some grinding here. Um, we'll just do that so we don't get back attacked. Yeah, I don't have the fight triggered here yet. Which is okay. Oh, these guys don't look weak at all. Hmm, I mean, these guys look really weak. Am I in the right place? I think I'm in the right place. I am ready. Then we can just do oh I don't have um That's fine. And we can just do this. Yeah, I don't think I'm in the right place. Um back and try Albert again. Great. Okay, you know what? I can't be mad. <laughs> I can't be mad. Yeah, we can go we can go back and do I'm going to want somebody as the apothecary, I'm gonna want somebody as the Um Let's put you on the cleric. Because I was inside, that's good. We're on the AoE guy, though. So I think we want... Essence Poison. We want Heal More, definitely. And we want Luminescence. Oh, and we want Revive, just in case somebody goes down. Um... And we want Spearhead to go faster. And we're definitely going to need Last Stand in case somebody goes down. Um, and then Prim. Prim should get. Prim can be the Scholar. And then I can just learn. Um, Lightning. Blizzard. can get that. Um, that's fine. We can do that. Um, okay, then are you. Okay. 
We can do equipment and then we can see how everybody's doing. That's fine. You're good. Okay. This might be a slog. I'm very confident this is gonna be a slog of a boss fight. Which is gonna be interesting. Um, is there anything better we can buy? We can buy another silver. Oh. Um. Sure. We'll do that, and then we can get... We'll give that to Tressa. Um, and then Cyrus needs something, so we can give that to Cyrus. Okay! Here we go. There you go, we gained one whole level. We're definitely ready to fight this boss now. Okay, let's go. Classic first turn in poison, Touch always good. Now, what next? These guys are between the Nessus. Is the classic strategy of um, healing and inciting Tressa, then getting her to sidestep. I am ready. We can do this. Night bring your shade. What is the logical course of action? Okay, Tressa, I'm gonna need you to. Insight. This way. I'm ready. Naito, bring your shade. And then Tressa can just sidestep everything. The battle is truly joined. Um, and then we can poison some more. A touch of venom. Can we heal more? Okay, not great. Um. Okay, now we need to poke you. Okay. Okay, trust is good. There you go, we can heal more. And, um... Slice up again. There you go. 
gonna be free game. This is gonna hurt. Uh, first aid on you, super quick. Albrecht surprisingly has a decent magic stat if that's how much he's healing. What did I do? To, what did I do to him that he has that high of a stat? Bring your um, if he could heal more, that'd be great. And then, um, insight. This way. Then she's gonna take a couple hits, but that's fine. I am ready. Uh, we can break you. Then Tressa can side step again. Um... Victory. Okay, that's good. Then we can heal more. Let me do this. And then hopefully we were able to take them out this turn. Um, I could do that, or I could do... Blizzard. Okay, there you go. See, we're doing good. We're actually doing good. Um, Tressa, if you can do a... Younger, that'd be good. Good. And then we don't have a dagger. What else could you be with you? Please. Okay, it's not that. Hmm. The good old fashioned test of bonking. Okay, no, but we got one back. Um, we know that he's to do this. Trust it, if you could put inset on yourself again, that'd be good. And then we can put more poison on him super quickly. A touch of venom. I swear when we, we're gonna see the credits and be like a half of the boss is gonna be going down to poison. Victory, um. Yeah, we can do this. Maybe it's both. There you go, it's both. What is the logical course? Um Good old one bong. Good. My turn now. You can do that. I am ready. Can do this. Oh, we're in yellow already. Good. Um I think we're gonna be good this fight. And then Cyrus can eat a plum. More, just in case. Okay, good. Sometimes you see people like go into your driveway and then they open their car door and you're like, this isn't your house. What are you doing? <laughs> um, I don't have a bow. Surprisingly, I don't have a bow. Okay. Leader poison again. Um. There's gonna be one off, which is not great, but that's fine. 
It's gonna be an AoE attack, yeah. But there you go. Now he is taken out. Cyrus, um... Cyrus, you're fine. We get you to do something. We'll get you to do Blizzard. Oh yeah, he has Blizzard! I keep forgetting that he's actually a merchant after a thing. Yeah, this is, um, the second, um, well, no. This is, like, the third sub-boss of, um, Albrecht's Chapter 2. So there's, like, Victorino, Joshua, Archibald, and then it goes to Gustav, who's the actual boss of the chapter. Um... So we finished Joshua pretty easy. There's no proof that says otherwise. Um, yeah, the arena fights. Um, we can just sidestep. My strategy is if at least one of them's up, then we can win the fight. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is okay. Yeah, he's in red. I'm ready. And Cyrus, you can have your moment here. I'm ready. There you go. He wounds. Just to make sure everybody's okay over the next fight. Um, give me this. Um, ice winds. Okay. Clock, though. Oh, that's just an AoE attack, so we're gonna be okay. Because we can just do this. Shoot him with a bow. Nice. Okay. I don't think we're strong enough to take off, uh, take on Gustav, though. What? That's all. Are my eyes to be believed? The king has been dethroned. Victory goes to Albrecht Eisenberg. I knew we could do it eventually. I just didn't have a. I just need an apothecary on my team. Like father, like son, I have failed him. Rejoice, fool. You won the battle. Don't you fret for me. I'll just start another winning streak. As long as I have breath in my lungs and strength in my arms, I'll keep swinging this blade. Indeed. You fought to honor the memory of a man long dead, but is that enough for the likes of me? Oh, that's sweet. Whoa! Archibald yields! For the first time in four years, the king will not fight in the final battle! <laughs> The Black Knight versus the Unbending Blade. Whatever befalls, there shall be a new king at the end of the tourney. At tourney's end. Okay, um... I'm gonna get the, uh... The large from you. And then I think... Can I scrutinize you? Can you give me your weaknesses, please? Shh, it's okay. Okay, one more time. We're gonna try? Okay, Gustav's weak points. Um. Hmm. Okay. We can save here. 
I don't think we're getting through this. I think I need to get some more plums, so we'll go buy some plums. Then we can at least attempt it. Um... Yeah, okay. Um, stores down here. What can I sell? Oh, I can sell kind of a lot of things. Okay, um... And then I need some plums. Let's get some... Let's get 10 plums. Um... Yeah, I think that's good. And then Gustav is weak to wind. I know that much. Because you can you beat him with a bunch of windstones in the um speed run. That much I remember. You've come this far. Now you simply have to win. Second place is out of the question. <laughs> I ain't ever seen the girl this agitated before. You've lit a fire under her, that's for certain. For certain. <laughs> Why shouldn't I be agitated? He beat the reigning king. The one, the one they said was all but a midgeful. By the gods, the devil can take me if this black knight thinks he's a match of the Kingslayer. What? Is something the matter? Do you know something about this black knight I don't? <laughs> Truth be told. Whatever this Black Knight may be, judging by his previous fights, he stands equal of any king. Indeed. No man should enter a battle expecting an easy victory. Least of all, one who is trained in the sword by Earhart. Hmm. Poor Sicily. Sicily just wants an easy win. <laughs> Yet neither should any man shy from battle for fear of defeat. I shall fight with all my strength. If the gods will, that is not enough, then so be it. Agreed? Right. I know how it works, but just make sure you use all your strength. I wouldn't want anything. <laughs> your cheeks turn red, girl. Ouch. Watch it now. The wound's still healing. <laughs> Coming up. And from the west gate, all Berg Eisenberg. No. That's my cue. Also, I stabbed myself earlier today when I was cooking. You can't see it on camera, but it really hurts. <laughs> Greetings. You kept up your end of the bargain. I'm impressed. Well. And I'm impressed as well. You've won hard battles against capable foes. <laughs> Once you met Mr. Earhart, I didn't have much of a choice now to die. Lest I dishonor his name as my teacher. Um, I was, okay, so we have, like, frozen burgers, um, and my dad, like, put, like, wax paper between each one, but the issue is when you put them back in the freezer and put them in a bag, sometimes the, you can't get them apart, so you have to take a knife and, like, pry them apart, and I wasn't thinking, so I had my hand on this side, like, let's pretend the burgers are, like, here. Yeah, um, let me use this hand. It's this hand that I was using, but, like, pretend the burgers are, like, here, I know it's dumb, and I even have the thought to myself I'm going to stab myself, but I put the knife like this, and I press through, so I went like that, and I, like, poked myself, like, right here, and I, like, ended up cutting, like, pretty badly, but the knife went in, and I was like, hmm, we'll, like, see how this goes, like, my hand feels fine, we'll see, and then I was, like, I was in the middle of a call of my work, like, a Zoom meeting, and my hand just started bleeding as I was, like, presenting, they're like, are you okay, I'm like, let me just go get a bandage, I'll be fine, and, like, I am good. It's, like, perfectly fine. You can't even, like, see it. Yeah, you can't see it. It's, like, right there. Um, but, like, it just hurts. It was something dumb. I knew I shouldn't have done it, but, like, it was kind of one of those things where it's, like, you, you think about it, but your monkey brain is, like, I gotta get these apart somehow, so, like, this is how you do it. Like, I should have put them down on, like, um, a chopping block and just went, like, Shh, down. But my friend was, like, no, that's too many steps. You still lost. Still wondering what that unbending blade of yours is for. Mm. 
Joshua fought for love. Archibald for the memory of his father and the honor of his line. I once fought to protect somebody, but I failed, and that person is no more. Yes, mayhap I am lost, but not today. Today I fight for victory. Indeed. I see you find yourself an answer. Let's see how well it serves you in battle. Prepare yourself! Pen to arms! Begin! Let the final duel begin! I will not fail. Oh god, I am not ready for this fight. <laughs> um Victory shall be mine. What are they weak to? A touch of venom. Um I am ready. Are they weak? I know they're weak to wind. Naito, bring your shade. Watch me, watch them not be weak to wind, and I poorly miscalculated my strategy. No, okay, they are weak to wind, good. Um, let me switch to staff to so she gets hit, and then we can do... Ice? Okay, good. See, I'm remembering some things from the speed run. And then we can do some more poison. A touch of venom. My turn now. And then we can do the large ice stone. Okay. And now we just have to um, hope and pray. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, Dancer's Night Edge. Night Ode. I could have probably done, um... Blizzard, but we'll see. Wow, Cyrus's, Cyrus's magic set is so much worse compared to everybody else's. I mean, he is like 10 levels lower than Prim. Um... Yeah, let's do that. Cause we need we need Cyrus to be alive, because he has the Okay, we're good. Just don't hit Tressa. Just don't hit Tressa. Just don't hit Tressa. Cover. Okay, okay, we're um we're okay. Uh we can do that for Albrick, and then we can just, you know. Sidestep for Tressa. She'll be fine. Um Level strike. Okay, one's down. Which means I can do Night Ode. Hopefully take this other one out. Okay, that one's not out yet. Hmm. Okay, I need to get Tressa out. You need that. Um, and then I can just get Cyrus on his turn. I am ready. Okay. You know, maybe if you wanna if you wanna Night die, that'd be that'd be fun, friend. Shade. Good, okay, good. We're okay. Um Tressa, if you wanna insight, that'd be great. And then we can just uh, heal more. And that should take everybody out of that. So then all bricks to stop defending Tressa and Tressa can disuse her side steps. Okay. Um, are you weak to that? No, you're not. I'm ready. I know you're weak to. Okay, you're not weak to bonking, so we'll do that. Are you weak to pointy things? Yes, we're weak to pointy things. Okay, good. Um, yeah, we do. Okay, just making sure. Um, 
yeah, Trust can just pull, pull a lot. Um, and then Ulbrich, you can poison some more. Grim can do this. And then Cyrus can just keep killing people. Um, and Jax? Yeah, okay, you are. I have a better axe on Ulbrich than I do a spear, so I think it's better to stick with axe for him. Um, Patressa, if you can do insight again, that'd be good. And Cyrus, um, Cyrus, we can heal more, and then we can, we can deal with the consequences later. Okay. Nice. Nice, okay. Um, we can do this. Holy light. No, okay. I think he's weak to wind. He might be weak to wind. No, I don't think he would be, because we used wind before. What are you weak to, friend? Um, anyway, I need some more sidesteps. Gotcha, we have to do the two attacks, but I'm soon just gonna do an AoE. Which is not great. That's fine. Okay. Hey, we now? Oh no, but that's gonna hit her. Okay, that's fine. Um, everything is fine until it's not fine in my world. <laughs> okay, you can have that. You can have that. Um, trust I can poke. What are you reach to? Oh, is it fire? Yes, that's what it is. Fire, okay. Let me do this. I'm obscuring his name. What is it? Like. Sorry, buddy, we, we gotta see you. What are you like? We're just gonna cover that up. We don't need to see that. <laughs> what up, where are we? There you go. Um. Okay. Um, I thought we were gonna be a lot further along than we are. Okay, let's see what he does. Cause now we can attack anybody. There is the AoE. Okay. I'm ready. Um Here I go. This way. Yeah, that's fine. We can heal more. Sorry about that. Um. Then we can just do a plum. I trust if you don't mind doing a poke. Okay. We're gonna do some sidestepping. Let 
my waltz. And then we just need all Rex to put more poison on. Okay. Not great. But we can break him before anything bad happens. Um. Okay, now he's in yellow. Status doesn't really help us in this boss. Um. Hmm. Okay. This is this. We can. Yes. Okay. Let's do this. Let's try this. We can do this. We can have Tressa. Tressa in sight. And if it's not the AoE attack, then no harm, no foul. It was the AoE attack. Um. Fine, we can still do this. Cyrus can just use Hillmore again. Okay. Um, I can do another poison. A touch on venom. And then trust I can just um get some more sight steps in. Shoot. Um. Well, oh, firestorm again. I'm ready. Uh, we can do night over again, or move my waltz. Let's try this. Uh, then we can use um, inside again. This way. <laughs> then we do this. Okay. One of these days. Um. Poison. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Cyrus's damage is so low. <laughs> Have a good one. Okay. Can we do this first try? I'd be pretty impressed. <laughs> um. Let's do holy light. Okay. 
Okay. We just have to survive. Okay. No, we're just gonna move me. Ew, I'm on the wrong screen. I'm just gonna move me here just for right now. Just so I can see how we're doing. Okay. We're in the red. Which is good. Um. Uh, plum. Heal more. Oh, this is not gonna be good. This is not gonna be good. Okay. Okay. Um. I could. But I can do this too. Okay. Because Lucifer does an AoE. Okay, she didn't do an AoE. I say, if Lucifer has an AoE, Prim will come back up. Um, if he could, like, die, that'd be really useful, though. Just maybe. Uh, heal wounds. Okay, everybody's out of the red, which is nice. Okay. Um... Okay, everybody should be fine. Okay, if this guy can just go down. Okay, no. Um. Hmm. Come on, I'm running out of SP on Ulbrich. <laughs> um, let's do this. <laughs> nice, okay. Um, come on. Come on. You can do it. You can go down. It's okay. Um. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Stay strong. Okay. <laughs> Are you still stuck on the same level? That's gonna hurt. Um. Think not. Victory shall be mine. Use this. Yeah. Have this boss like I know he's gonna die soon but I just want him to die now maybe I'm being impatient but I just really want him to not be around another turn okay okay there you go we did it I can move myself back the show is over so only you suffer more damage, etc. You also lose your ninja charge. Oh, that's not good. Damn it! Curse my blade, but the victory is yours. We have a winner! Yields, yields! All hail the unbending blade! A new king of the arena is crowned. Three cheers for Ulbrich Eisenberg! Huzzah! 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 Uh -huh. It's hard, like a lot harder than easy. Or is it like, because you, you said it, oh, obviously like these damage differences, right? Um, 
guess so, right? Because that because if you can't use your special moves anymore, you can't exactly clear the board easier. Did you see that, lads? That's it! <laughs> the Black Knight fought bravely, but the unbending blade has won the day. <laughs> okay. He won! Did you see that, man? He won! <laughs> this feels more like Dark Souls. <laughs> of course I did. So every blow he land and my own wounds ache just watching. Well played. Good fight. Agreed. Ah, it was. No shame in losing to the likes of you. Is it so? On another day, you could have been the victor. So. Sass. I. Mayhap. But today is your day, and I'll keep my word. When you're ready, come by my room at the inn, and I'll tell you what I know. One mash, too As much you. on attacks instead of evading in your second one. Yeah. I will see you anon. The bards will sing of the duel, this duel for years. All hail the new king! I won. But I'm no clue to understand why I moved my blade. Also, apparently I'm weird. Almost every guy who runs Octopath that I've spoken to, their favorite male character has been Ulbrich. So apparently I'm just the weird one out. You don't vote for king, silly. <laughs> Ah, welcome. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, great, there's voice acting. Why don't I finish all my drinks? Deal's a deal. <laughs> you want to find Earhart? And I'll honor my side of the bargain. But let's take it slow. There's much we have to talk about, you and I. Oh, is it? I li I've heard that around a lot, but I just thought it was people... Just, like, not knowing. <laughs> like, if that sounds mean. <laughs> okay, interesting. Okay. I am now more cultured. <laughs> if you say so. But what about? Sir Earhart, of course, and what I know of him. I'm listening. Now, where to begin? Also, I think my Earhart voice is fast. You can't tell the difference. <laughs> tell me, Sir Ulrich. Are you familiar with the land from which Sir Earhart hailed? Some border town in the far reaches of Hornburg. Or so he once told me. If you know if you can say so, just say something different. <laughs> Aye. A peaceful village called Grind. At least it was till it was raised in the war. <sighs> Twas long before Lord Earhart became a knight that he lost his home. After that. He joined a band of cell swords for a spell. It was there he got an idea in his head. And so he finally came to serve Hornburg and the Crown as a spy. Oh, preposterous. You mean to tell me that Earhart meant to betray us all along? Big sad. His eyes always burned with fire when he told the tale. The King of Hornburg turned his back on us, he'd said, and sat on his ass as our homes burned. Nonsense. King Alfred cared for all his subjects. He would never... I'm not gonna cry. I'm Lord not gonna Earhart cry. <laughs> claimed otherwise. <laughs> Either way, he was a man on a mission. If that's true... He'd been plotting the downfall of Hornburg for years. I cried very easily, I told then you guys this. <laughs> made all the sweeter by the passage of time. How sweet it must have been for him when Hornburg fell at last. I'm glad I'm not wearing makeup today. <laughs> I don't pretend to admire his deeds, nor claim they are honorable. And most of you are built near water. At most, I I love 
by water if that's what you mean. Or do you mean like I'm made up mostly of water, so it's a good thing? <laughs> then I've never known the pain and anguish Sir Earhart was forced to bear. Oh really? Okay. I'm I'm sure it makes more sense in like German. <laughs> Though I wonder sometimes how it made him feel to see justice done. If winning his revenge put his heart at ease. Okay, I will say in chapter three, when you have to like duel Earhart, I was crying like a baby. I remember I was in the living room and my brother was just going off to work and I was like, no, you can't do this. No, that's your brother. You can forgive him. It's okay. You guys can move past this. And I'm crying. And my brother's just like, do you actually need me to stay, or are you just, like, sad because of a video game? Like, I'm sad because of a video game. You can go. I'm fine. <laughs> Do this na am wasser jabout? I don't know how to say that. In, I don't know how to say the last word in German. Okay. I will, I will remember that. <laughs> I never asked him. They never told me. But of all the men in this world, I'd be happy to tell you. You look up to the man, don't you? The G is spoken separately and more straight, so it's like G in Gibout. So it's G, or is it like. Okay, go out. Okay. Do this na am vasa go out. I dare say he was a friend as well. In my horribly Canadian accent. <laughs> I know of little else but the ways of battle. Whatever his sins might have been. Oh, thank you. I know it wasn't great. <laughs> Was I. You're very sweet. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> I will say when I was in when I when I went visited Germany, they were very nice to anybody who tried to use German. Like they were like, oh, you're trying. Yeah, that's perfect. You're great. Company, so, I think you guys are just really nice. Look, you guys look like you would kill all of us if we stepped in your foot by accident. But you're nice. <laughs> oh, okay. Find Sir Earhart in the desert town of Wellspring. I just remember going to because uh, we were in Berlin, Berlin for a day before we went around like to Germany, and I just remember we all got onto like the streetcars. Yeah, the streetcars, right? Yeah, the streetcars, and um, like all all of us were like we're like grade elevens going to grade twelves, and we're all freaking out because there are all these like really tough German people around us, and we're like, oh, like. Sorry, sorry, like, because they just looked so mad at us, we didn't know what we did. <laughs> you do. Well, I trust you'll do what's right. Even if that means I slay him? Your friend, your mentor, your brother. We didn't do anything to them, we were just sitting there. Like, we were just standing, like, in the corner. And, um, because, like, we're from Canada, right, so we're all freaking out because usually if you see something, like, most people kind of, like, keep us, like, a straight face in Canada, we're, like, kind of, like, neutral. But they were looking at us, like, and I guess they were, like, because we were talking in English, I guess maybe they were trying to figure out what we were saying, or, like, why we were there. Um, and so they looked really, or they just looked mad at us. Maybe that's just the way German faces sit. And so we kept being like, oh, like, sorry, like, I don't know what we did. Like, maybe, like, we did something to you to be upset you or we're not supposed to be speaking English here. Like, oh. So we kept apologizing. And then they were like, oh, so you're not Americans. And we're like, no. And they're like, oh, okay, you're fine. Then. <laughs> if that is what you believe he deserves, I reckon he'll accept his fate. And so will I. But we, we tried saying, we, we said, like, sorry in English first, and then we tried saying it in German. Because we were like, oh, look, we don't know what we did. <laughs> I think, I don't, I, think, I don't think they were actually mad at us. I think they were just, really, like, more confused why there was just a bunch of, like, high school students. You're not Americans. You're cultured and educated Americans. <laughs> nice. Whatever the cause he fought for, it does not excuse his deeds. 
He slew the king. He had taken a sworn oath to protect. All I remember is when we were in um, Czechoslovakia or uh, the Czech Republic, um, and the tour guide told us specifically to take off our Canadian flags because there had been so many Americans recently who had gone through with, with Canadian flags that um, the Czech people at these, like, the, the places we were staying at, the tourist places we were going to go to, would automatically assume we were American and the Americans have been so mean to them that they were like, don't, don't do it. Just like, don't wear Canadian flags. Just go in, be nice and they'll, they'll know you're Canadians or they'll at least like think you're nice. Like don't, don't wear any Canadian flags. So that was, um, that was kind of a bit of a, a weird moment for us. But no more. Not, but like, there were only a couple of people who had like Canadian flags like sewn onto their backpacks. The rest of us like didn't have anything Canadian. Does Gustav have the right of it? Did Erhart wield his sword for the sake of revenge? If I will so, say, it is... Does he still wield it, even though the thirst for vengeance has been sated? It is so weird when you get onto the States as a Canadian. Because, like, you know, you'll hold the door open for the next person. You'll be like, oh, thank you, and somebody holds the door open for you. You'll be like, oh, please and thank you of things. And half the population down there will be like, the hell are you doing? Like... You don't have to apologize with, like, who the fuck are you, basically. And the other half are like, oh, you're so sweet, you must be Canadian. Which is, like, again, so funny to me. It's like, no, Canadians are real bitches. But, like, we're just, like, that passive-aggressive bitch. <laughs> like, it's when we don't say sorry that, like, people are like, how utterly rude of you. Like, what do they do to slight you? Like, did they kill your family? <laughs> off to what does it matter the tourney is over our bargain is concluded it is but that doesn't mean we can't bid each other godspeed and then there's the quebecois nobody likes quebecois <laughs> phew got you in the nick of time we won't let you go sneaking away without so much as a fare thee well Kane's at least knew that. Uh, I've seen you Really? Like, they don't teach us. Okay, here's the thing. And this freaks my parents out. They don't teach us, like, world geography in school. They teach us, like, Canadian geography. Like, we don't know anything about the States. We don't know anything about, like, really other countries, like, around the world. But, like,. Through the power of, like, osmosis and actually, like, you know, knowing general common sense, we kind of know a lot about other countries. Like, yeah, I don't really know a lot about, like, African countries or, like, really exactly. Like, if you point me to a map and be like, oh, name everything in, like, the middle chunk of, like, Europe, I would be like, I don't know where any, like, the actual countries are. But I, like, know roughly, like, oh, no, like, oh, like, Germany would be here, like, Luxembourg would kind of be around here, like, that's France, that's Spain, like, you know what I mean? But, um, like, we just learn more about, like, other cultures as opposed to, like, their actual geography. Of course. Pray forgive my manner. I could not have gotten this far without you. Both of you. You have my thanks. And you have ours. So, if I can be so bold, where are you off to next? The Sunlands. A town called Wellspring. To finish what I started here. <laughs> it's okay, when his music kicks in. I don't know. Perhaps I'll return home. To the village I came from before here. Well, if you've already got a place to call home, then maybe this means nothing. But if you're looking for a new line of work, 
because you were I seriously can't believe a US streamer would say that Germany is close to the US. <laughs> that is so strange. <laughs> the offer is welcome, but it's not a life. Yeah. It's like um it's super interesting though just Like, most European countries, you know, there's a sense of, like, you know, social programs and respecting others, where I feel like they're lacking that in the States a bit. Like, I feel like there's, like, nice Americans who are kind of at the level, and this is gonna sound so mean, of, like, normal people. And then there's, like, most Americans who are, like, either, like, you know, like, you can get past them, it's like, oh, they're okay, or they're, like, really like horrible people <laughs> thought you might say that but I had to ask huh if you ever have a change of heart just drop on by or even if you don't you'll always be welcome here thank you friend I may do just that in the meantime take care of those words. Um, the Chancellor for Germany is still Angela Merkel, right? Or did she get replaced? Don't you worry about me. I'll be fighting fit soon enough. I'm ready to give a good showing at next year's tournament. A good showing? Now there's an inspiring goal. If you want to stick around in my stable, I'll see you claim the throne. Oi, oi! One step at a time, my lady. I ain't the unbending blade of Hornberg after <laughs> all. It's okay, Ned. It's okay. She'll keep you. <laughs> a title and a crest do not a swordsman make. Aye, true enough. Maybe I will go and win it all. <laughs> See what the betters will say about that. I like. Ned's voice confuses me because it sounds like he, the guy either had a cold the whole time he was recording his lines or they had him like point like con balls like here and here to kind of make that like weird like noise. Tell you what, if they crown Ned King, you come back and we'll put on a duel the likes of which the city's never seen. Okay, it wasn't in that line, which is weird. I'd like that very much. But today, the road comes. Till our paths cross again, my friends. Uh, and so did. Ulbrich leave Victor's Hollow behind him with new knowledge of Earhart's past and present. Now Ulbrich must find Earhart, and God's willing, the truth, even if it means crossing blades with his erstwhile friend. And so to the Sunlands and the desert oasis to Wellspring. Ulbrich's journey continues. She got replaced in last falls after the elections, after the new government had separated. Oh, that's interesting. You had never seen somebody from the Green Party have that much power in, um, in Canadian politics. I think Elizabeth, like, not last election, the election before, like, the only Green Party was Elizabeth May, who won her seat on BC. Like, you, you never see the Green Party with much power here. Like, they might win, like, a couple, like, local elections, but never, never, like, MPP seats. Um... Hello, is Tressa not gonna start? Oh, I don't have- you know, I have Tressa in my party. Tressa? Oh, maybe because I turned it down one time and I didn't have an break in the party. Um... Uh, let's go to the inn.
Uh, exchange party. Oliver can come out. We can put Theory in. A third in command, Christian Lind Lindner. Your actual government has a name. Chat with Coalition because such comments are mostly red. Oh! See, in Canada, the liberals are red. Um, we don't really have Democrats. Oh yeah, no, we have the we have the new Democratic Party. They were they're like orange. The Green Party is obviously green, and then the Conservatives are blue. So we we could have a pseudo traffic light system. No, because you have um. See, no, because in, in Canada, you only have the Prime Minister, and then you have the Leader of the Opposition. So you only have a two-party system, basically. Um... But you could have Christmas, you could have the Liberals and, and the Green Party. And then there's the Black Québécois, which is, like, not really a party anymore, like, a national party anymore. Well, that's also, like a, like, a lighter shade of blue. And then Independents are usually either purple or brown. Um, wait, no, I want to start Tressa's part, uh, Tressa's chapter. That's, um, that's strange how you have the Chancellor, then you have a second in command, and then you have a third in command from different parties. Like, that would never happen. The story so far. In Quarry Quest, Tressa met a fellow merchant named Ali. He told her of the merchant's fair in Grandport, where the greatest treasures in the realm are but are put to auction. And so Tressa vowed to find a worthy treasure, hoping to prove herself a merchant worthy of respect and renown. So it was that the two promised to reunite the fair. Conservatives are black. They are basically one big and small party from Bavaria, a common... The CDU, which stands for the Christian Democratic Union, includes the very separate, but also... See, no, um... <laughs> so, the conservatives in Canada aren't exactly, like, religious. They're more, like... Because, mm. I mean, they do have, like, some... Some more, like... But, like, even the conservatives, I'm pretty sure most of them voted for... For like abortion to remain legal, and most of them, a lot of a lot of a lot of them, actually did vote for for there not to be any consequences for conversion camps. But okay, like in the states, it's really obvious. Like you know, one party is like very much like tied to Christianity. In Canada, it's yeah, conservatives are more are more aligned with like companies and like capitalism. Like they're more keep keep the companies, keep the oil that's going, just make the country money. It's not so much tied to, like, a religion. They're just getting hard, like, yeah, okay. It's about time I opened the notebook. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to the Merchant's Fair in Grandport. But first, I need, to see, I need to find a treasure worthy of the auction. So I've come to Victor's Hollow to find one. The owner of this book found that what he was looking for here. Hopefully, I'll, I'll be as lucky as he was. All right. It's time I had a look around this place. When we had a federal election, you can choose to give your vote to almost. Oh my god! No. no! No, 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 That would never happen in Canada. It's. Well. All no. Right. Well, it's like if you're choosing, like, parties. Well. No, because not even in writings. So, like, you'll always have, um, liberal, dem uh, NDPs, uh, conservatives, and then usually a Green Party. If you're in Quebec, you'll have the Le Québécois, because they 
they don't want anybody else's vote outside of Quebec. They don't, like, there's no members. And then you might, if you're, like, if you are, like, a big place like Toronto, you might have two independents, but that's it. Yeah. See, we don't even do that. We just, um, we just have whoever gets the most votes in a riding gets, gets it. Excuse me, could you tell me about this map? That old thing. Hmm. I don't even know where it came from. I found it in the storehouse and thought about throwing it out at first. But I figured I could make at least a few leaves off it in this way. Oh? Mind if I take a closer look? There are traces of old lines where it was redrawn. And it smells of the sea. From the looks of this map, from the looks of it, this map is very special to the one who drew it. Oh. I think there's something written in here. But the characters are strange. Hmm. I'll be darned if you can read those scribbles, young lady. Huh. Hmm. My dearest friend, here lies my most precious treasure, Bal Balthazar. Oh. Balthazar? As in the dead pirate Balthazar of the Eastern Seas? And this is his treasure map? Yes. Sure seems that way. <laughs> it must be a good fortune. It must be worth a fortune. Give me that! <laughs> <laughs> Lady Luck is on my side today. Now let's keep this between us, young lady. Here, I'll even give you some candy. I mean that I'm already told off there. Uh... Um... Hmm. But I didn't come here for candy. <laughs> I love that Tressa like. <laughs> okay, let's go meet our friends. Oh god, I have to attempt this lady's Scottish accent again. <laughs> yeah, time for a break. Oh no, it's voice. We're fine. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> oh no. I already wrote in my diary today. So I'll give the notebook another read. Right now we have six parties in Parliament, of course. The three part government parties from the SPD. The Liberals, the Greens, and the opposition of the left party, a post-communist party raised mostly by old GDR politicians from East Germany, the CDU, former part of the Angela Merkel, which is the biggest opposition party, and the far-right AFD, which are... Oh, um... That's a... That's a mix. In this world, there are countless treasures, but only one is precious to me, and I'll journey on until I find it. He had only one treasure in the whole world. Hello there. Good day. To, good to see you're making use of that notebook. <laughs> we meet again, lass. Mr. Leon. What brings you here? I should ask you the same. Don't tell me you ran away from home. I see, I thought that that, ang that accent I was doing was okay, and then I heard myself back when my friend was like playing a portion of the video to me, and I was like, no, it's so bad. <laughs> Not quite. I just decided it was time I saw the world. And I have the notebook you gave me to thank you for it. Oh. Thank yourself for choosing it, lass. Sink me. I'd be ready to make a grave of me hammock. <laughs> Hello. Oi, ain't she? What? N Nick? Knack? Your ninny? It's Mick and Knack, you girl bird brain ninny. <laughs> You're that kid what gave us the quite the lashing back in dri Drifle Slide. <laughs> uh. 
It's Ripple Tide. Did you two learn your lessons yet? Mick. That is such like dumb humor, but I love it. <laughs> That's quite enough. Captain. Uh, apologies, Captain. Captain. Hi, <laughs> our fighting days be behind us. We be working under a different flag now. That right. The day that day opened our eyes to the true greatness of Leon Bistral. Now we be having the honor of calling him our captain. Whoa! I'm glad to see you two are singing a new tune. Whoa. As am I. They've been doing well under my command thus far, but still have a ways to go. Right, you are, Captain. Now look alive, you half drowned dodo. There's work to be done. So, lass, how do your, your travels fare? Well, I. I'm still learning as I go, but I do have a goal now. I want to sell something incredible at the Merchant's Fair. If I can manage that much. It'll prove just how far I come on this journey. You don't say. Well, there's certainly no better place than the fair for an inspiring merchant like yourself. That was not any accent through that. <laughs> and what exactly is that you've deemed worthy of the auction? <laughs> I wish I could tell you, but it's still waiting for me to find it. <laughs> oh, a yet undiscovered treasure, I see. Then I wish you all the best in your search, in your search, lass. Thank you, Mr. Leon. By the way, what brings you to Victor's Hollow? It's the home of an old friend. He passed away around this time of year, so I decided to pay a visit. Oh, oh no. What video did you send? I'm so scared. Okay. I'll definitely look into that, um, after stream. Were you too close? Hi. Hey, Balthazar and I were like brothers. Oh. Balthazar? As in, that Balthazar? <laughs> Which Balthazar, lass? Balthazar who draw them, drew the map I found earlier. They may be just one and the same. Could you show me where you found it? Yes. Yep, follow me! I mean, I'm always happy to, like, learn more. Hey! Excuse me, sir. It's, um, me again! Welcome. Welcome back, young lady. I trust you managed to keep, uh, you know what, a secret in the meantime. Sorry. I'm really sorry, but I couldn't. Mm -hmm. What do you mean you couldn't? What do we have here? Pardon the intrusion, but I heard you might possess a map belonging to Balthazar. By the way, which party? So he is, um, he's in the Liberal Party. Um,. So, like, if you think of conservatives as, like, purely for corporations and NDP, which are, like, pseudo-communist, like, more communistic in their style, liberals are, like, well, they're more on the conservative side of, like, socialism so it's like, it's like, there's, there's three that way. And then the block is over with the conservatives, but they're also separatists. And then the Green Party is kind of in between socialism, so the liberals, and um, the NDP. So they're kind of more social, social, like, and like Green Party is kind of more in the middle and then like liberals are kind of more just slightly to the um to the right. 
Who are you? Yeah. Most, um, most, well, yeah. Most politicians in Canada, like, you can never, like, point to a politician and be like, oh, like, this is, like, what their platform really is. Like, not, like, what you can do in the States. It's more like, this is how the party generally votes. So something along, like, these lines is what you're, what you're expecting to vote in. This is Captain Leon Bistral. Oh. Leon Bistral, Scourge of the Seas? I don't want to believe it, but there's no mistaking that blue spear. I heard about you and your famous words. What were they again? The strong take while the weak quake? Those are words best forgotten, sir. This is... <laughs> Do you take me for a fool? I knew you're just here to loot my store. <laughs> um, I can assure you I came for no such thing. It's no such reason. I cast aside that last lifestyle long ago. The states are something special because both the Democrats and Republicans are considered both. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh! Yeah, in, so in the States, it's an interesting situation because you're voting for like a person's platform as opposed to like an actual like unified, like this is what history has shown us that they have voted for. And then, yeah, you're either voting for like, I feel so bad saying this, but you're either voting for like Bible thumping, um, chauvinistic, morons let's say that or you're voting for somebody who's going to be splitting the rest of the rest of the population like the the republicans are always going to be happy with who they choose because they're all kind of like they all have like, the same mentality of like fuck everybody else and then the democrats you're either gonna have people who are like more centrist or like more left or like so far left and they're gonna like split the party and nobody's gonna be happy with like the democratic choice hmm this certainly looks like one of balthazar's works whereas like in canada for the most part like hmm. if you got to vote i mean like the liberals and ndp kind of split the split when it comes to young people but for the most part, like, people just don't want conservatives in power. Except for people, like, in Alberta and, like, Saskatchewan, really. You really don't plan to steal it, do you? I see. Excuse me. So the rumors of the great pirates Leon and Balthazar being friends really were true. Excuse me. Huh? I once asked a guy from New York about the difference between both parties. Which ones? Perhaps are old men's suits, or Democrats are just not so old men's suits. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, I would say it's just like because there are some pretty old Democrats, too. I think it's like there's like the old way of thinking and then there's like a newer but still like older version of thinking. Where like I think if you're if you want to do that in Canada, like like conservatives are very much like old man thinking. Liberals are kind of like, you know, like 60s to like 40s and then like NDP or be like under 30. Like you you probably think the same as them, like generally would kind of be like how how the mentality works I beg your pardon. and then if you vote for green you're kind of just a hippie <laughs> like 
like that's kind of the thing like you're like oh fuck everything else like like no economy just like environment and if you vote for the rhino party you're just insane we actually have a party in canada that was established like the 1800s where called the rhino party this is a real thing and um their promise, if they got into government, would be to repeal the laws of gravity. They never got anywhere, of course. But, um... There are stupid people everywhere. <laughs> if you two were as close as stories say, then I'm sure you'd do anything to have his map, am I right? But... However, it's a precious family heirloom, and I'm afraid I cannot part with it without recompense. What? But earlier, he said he was just going to throw it away. Huh. Hmm. If you truly... If you're truly the Leon Bastral, then I'm certain you're well-versed in the treasures of the realm. You see... I am but a lowly merchant, you see nothing in comparison to your grandeur. But there is one thing we have in common. A desire for a certain treasure? Have you heard of Edbart's shield? Edbart was, was servant of the King of Therian. His defense with the shield was said to be impenetrable. Legend said he used the same shield to protect his liege until the tragic fall of the kingdom. I heard a rumor that it's been spotted in this very town as of late. Curious timing, isn't it? Both a fable pirate and a fable treasure in Victor's Hollow at the same time. <laughs> if you happen across it somewhere, Mr. Pastral, I'd be happy to trade it for the map. Uh. How dare he use this map as leverage! It rightfully belongs to Mr. Leon's friend. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you're mistaken. Till we meet again. Thank you for showing me the map, and my apologies for taking so much of your time. Hey. Are you really just gonna leave without your friend's keepsake? Hi. That map is not mine to take. No, I should take my leave less. I'd uh, like to celebrate his life with a drink tonight. Mr. Leon. He says he doesn't need it, but... I think a memento like this is best kept in a friend's hands. I'll find a way to get it to him. You said you trade the map for Earhart's shield, right? And Bart's shield. I'll be back in two ripples of the tide. Okay, how much money do I have? Can I actually- yeah, I can pay for it. Okay. Huh. Uh, you really want that map, don't you? Ooh, shoot, sorry. I did for Mr. Leon's sake. I could, uh, steal it for you, you know? I'd rather you didn't. I can handle this myself. He wants a trade, and he'll have it. That's what I do best. I'll show him who's the first best merchant around. Well, I see my help's not needed here. Though I'd act the gallant type, but clearly you're a lady who prefers the leading role. You bet. After all, how can I call myself a real merchant if I refuse this challenge? How indeed. Okay. Um, and I have the money for you, sir. Oh, and I got a discount on it. Um, do I want any of these other shields? Um, sure, why not? I'll take them. I 
I think we're gonna give um, Leon back the map, and then we're probably safe. And then we can, we should probably call it a night. Um, yeah, I can go down this way. Oh wait, I have to, I have to trade. Oh, that's why I didn't go. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. so soon Course. I made a promise didn't I and I always deliver that's one giant shield <laughs> I didn't realize it was that big <laughs> my words I can't believe you actually found it but the simple and sweet in all these scars there's no mistaking it this is the real deal Tower shield. Well, like, if Truss is like, like you know, five foot, like that shield has to be like what six feet tall, right? Like, am I going crazy? Thank you, thank you so much, young lady. Here's the map as promised. And if it was like, like one of those like Roman shields where like they're completely down, you would think that it would be like straight down so it'd cover your feet as well. How did you ever manage to get this shield? I'm a merchant. We have our ways. And some of us get a discount of nearly 2000 on it, too. Obtaining such a renowned treasure is no small feat. I can see you a promising lady, and lots of it. And my ancestors wore some of those. It's hanging in my family's house in the West Germany. Oh, really? I don't think we have anything, like... Super... Like, the only things I really have... And no, they're almost. Okay, well, that's still tall. I think the only thing that, like, ancestral that we have passed down is, like, jewelry. So the girls have it. Like, I have one piece back from, like, the 1800s, which is, like, gold and amethyst. Um, but, like, obviously, it's not, like, something that. And they have some, like, pearls from, like, the 1920s. But, like, nothing, like, super, super old. Mr. Leon! I brought you something. Huh? Balthazar's map. Don't tell me you went through in that ter trouble of finding that shield for that. I was only about almost 200 pounds. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine. Then I won't. <laughs> Thank you, lass. Mr. Leon, were you really okay with leaving that map at the store? You see... When you gazed at it, your eyes were so forlorn. See, I would be very concerned that falls off the wall, though, then. <laughs> I felt like it belonged with you. <laughs> Your keen eyes never cease to amaze me. Let me tell you a story last- Oh, I'm gonna cry again! No! No! <laughs> About Balthazar and me. I picked the wrong day! <laughs> I feel like if I get a hug, I'm gonna cry more. <laughs> oh shoot, camera. We were but lads when- Okay, let me- if, if I focus on the accent, I'm gonna be in so much, like, mental eye anguish, I can't actually cry. We were but lads when the sea first called to us, and as we grew, so did our reputation. Balthazar came to be known as the Wild Eagle, and I the Sea Serpent. Our ships clashed on the open ocean, and on- Kiss <laughs> on the Evil Grin. <laughs> And our names roared like thunder through the skies. Captain Leon! The storm be given us no quarter, sir! Let's turn back! The old girl 
can't hold on much longer! Anyone wanting to retreat can be my guest and swim back. I'll reduce this ship to shivers before I let him have my treasure! Wait, what did I think he had a Scottish accent? <laughs> if those scurvy sea dogs get to that island first, we get nothing! You hear? Hold fast to that rudder, mateys! Aye, aye, sir! Okay, this isn't the really sad one. I think the really sad one comes afterwards. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good. Altazar, that bastard. You're too slow, Leon. Aye, Captain Obvious. <laughs> I think he'd have learned after all these years. Enough. Else I'll cut out your tongue and feed it to the gulls. Thanks guess me, that's why. Now I'll be taking this island's treasure, if you don't mind. I do mind, but it isn't mine. Do whatever you please. Ye remember when we were alive. Star, slow, steal and survive. We dreamt of just growing up and had to fight tooth and nail to reach the top. Nothing was ever easy for us. In this world, the strong take while the weak quake, and we became strong. Ye never change, Leon. You say it like you're any different, Balthazar. Not everyone stays the same forever, matey. Compose yourself. <laughs> Balthazar. He was always looking off in the distance. His eyes gazed far, far away towards a seemingly unreachable place. Time passed between us until one day. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Can I, I can't cry. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I never wanted to be a pirate. What? When we were alive, I dreamt of being a merchant. <laughs> Have you gone daft? Balthazar of the Eastern Seas. A merchant. You're a bloody scoundrel for laughing, Leon. But it be the truth. I wanted to trade treasure from every corner of this here world and bring people together. A sight of that dream after becoming a pirate. But these days, Leon, do you have something precious to you? Aye, fine storm this is. How about another wager, my friend? Whoever reaches that island first be the winner. It's the goddamn music! <laughs> you get that gem you always want to. Oh, uh -huh, will I now? And what happens if you win? I win. Ye hand over your most precious treasure. You. <laughs> you don't know what to do right now. <laughs> if I start crying, you have to leave the stream. <laughs> That's how our final race began. About Balthazar, he never emerged from the stormy seas. I found his ship several days later wrecked on the coast. 
Balthazar had been the victor of her very last match. It's so sad! <laughs> Okay. 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 It wasn't, it wasn't, okay, as long as it's not him on the beach, I'm fine. Next year, even it's him on the beach telling him he will be a merchant, I'm also gonna be a sobbing mess. But that wasn't right back to each other. <sighs> this map shows the location of the gems he wagered that day. The Eldrite. He called it Eldrite. It's the only one of its kind in the entire world. It was by far the rarest of all treasures he's plundered. But seeing as I lost our match, I haven't the rights to it. That's why you left it in the shop. <laughs> Precisely. You made a proper trade for this last, so it belongs to you now. Next year I might actually be a baby and start crying though. <laughs> However you use it is up to you. I can't help it with that scene. It makes me like want to cry so bad. Up to me. And I no promises when I like air hard and all break in chapter 3-2, I might I get a little teary there. Mr. Leon lost just a did, lost more than just a race that day. I think having a mento of his friend would cheer him up. Okay, see like the thing is. It's the music that really gets to me. Like, yeah, the story's been done before, but it's like the music, and then it's like, like, you, like even in that like one little thing where it's like, you know, like I do mind, but like it's not mine. Like it's like such like these two are friends, and I like I get so sad. <laughs> like I want them to be friends. <sighs> and I wouldn't mind getting a closer look at the most at more pirate treasure. <laughs> Time to put this map to use. Okay, I think um, we're gonna go save, and then well, we'll do the travel banter, then we'll save, and then we'll call it night. It couldn't be. Eldrite, the ore of legend. You know it, Mr. Albright? Professor Albright? Oh yes, otherwise known as the Eagle Eye of the Sea. So beautiful, men liked the eye. Of... So beautiful, men liken it to the eye of a goddess. Or so my tomes tell me. I have never observed an actual specimen with my eyes. My own eyes, mind you. It is also written that you can see an ocean inside if you peer long enough. A whole ocean? With fish and seaweed and everything? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, to say the least, if the view offered quite so much detail. Truth be told, all the accounts are hearsay. Not one author is claimed to be to have fun with these stones. Though not for want of effort, it has been long it has long been sought after by pirates, kings, and would-be treasure hunters. Yeah. Oh god, what's the one song? There's a, there is, are two songs on the radio. Well, not on the radio. There are two songs that whenever they come on the radio, I always start crying. But I can't remember what they are until they come on the radio and then all of a sudden I'm like crying hysterically. And me, suddenly I really want to find it. Now that's the spirit. Now that's the spirit. <sighs> okay. So we're gonna save. I'm gonna not gonna cry on camera any more than kind of like the like one like half tear that like trickled out of everyone like can't wipe that away. Um but yeah, I think that's, um, that's a good place to end for the day. Thank you for stopping by. I'm sorry I got you confused. <laughs> um, I hope you have a lovely sleep. Sleep. Yeah. Sweet dreams. Um, and I'll see you. Bye.